Details in a heartbreaking case for a Johns Creek family. Today, police confirmed the body of 17 year old Mercedes Chico Sims was found at a Roswell apartment complex. She was discovered near the pool at the Atlantic Newtown apartments just two days ago. 18 year old Elijah Foster is now charged with concealing her death. CBS 46's Ayanna Crystal joins us now with the latest on this investigation. Brittany, today we have learned the man arrested in connection with her death was an acquaintance of Mercedes Chico Sims. There is still a lot unknown at this time. Police have not released exactly how the teen was killed or if any others were involved, but her death is devastating for her family and friends. Really shocking. I say disbelief, but it hurt. Like, you know, it's real pain. So. I don't know what to do. Centennial High School students are in disbelief that their classmate, Mercedes Chico Sims, is gone too soon. Like someone got killed here, I guess, like somewhere near me. Yeah, especially from our school, because we like never heard of anything like that before, like around this area. Mercedes Chico Sims was reported missing from her Johns Creek home early Wednesday morning. Her body was discovered next to a pool at a Roswell apartment complex less than a mile from her home on Wednesday. Um, obviously, this is very difficult on the family. This does provide some sense of closure initially. However, they are aware that this is still an active investigation and we're still pursuing leads and that there may be more developments in the near future. Thursday, Roswell police arrested Elijah Foster. He is charged with concealing the death of another in the case of the 17 year old Mercedes Chico Sims. Foster has faced other charges unrelated to the case in the past couple years, including a statutory rape charge last summer. Yeah, I just feel so bad, you know, to know that no one saw that coming. I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, especially around here. Nothing. Not a lot of bad things happen around here. Now her family, friends, and community are searching for answers. What happened to lead to her death? She's the best person you could possibly ever meet. Just a heartbreaking situation for her family and the students at Centennial High School. Now police are still investigating this. They are interviewing people and following up on leads. That's the latest in Fulton County. Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.